I'm Karen Randall from Randall's Farm and Greenhouse. Whether in a terrarium or on a windowsill, ferns make wonderful, low-maintenance houseplants. There are more than 1,200 species of ferns, many discovered during the Victorian fern craze. Pteridomania, passion for finding, collecting, and cultivating ferns, bloomed in Victorian England, where men and women of all ages and social status hunted for new species of ferns for their homes and gardens. The Wardian case was invented, a controlled environment like a small greenhouse or terrarium to keep ferns alive in Victorian homes, protecting them from pollution, variable temperatures, and low light. Fern motifs dominated home decor. Ferns come in a wide variety of types and textures. They are moisture loving, and with proper care, they can stay lush and green in your home. They love terrariums which hold in moisture and flourish in the damp air of a bathroom. A room humidifier is fern pleasing or create a moist environment for ferns by setting them on a pebble-filled tray of water. Ferns are natural air purifiers. Lacy leaf ferns are the most popular. Boston fern, maidenhair, mother's fern, foxtail, silver lace, and tree fern crave high humidity. Like the button fern, low growing under glass. Footed ferns command attention with their furry roots protruding from the pots. Kangaroo paw, rabbit foot, and silver root. Ferns with leathery foliage do best indoors. They generally take less light, humidity, and a bit less water. Staghorn grows on wood and moss. Heart fern, blue star, and my favorite, curly bird's nest. Basic fern care requires bright indirect light, fast draining soil, moist warm daytime air, and cooler night temps. Water ferns thoroughly two to three times per week. Revive the Victorian craze. Decorate and cultivate distinctive ferns. I'm Karen Randall from Randall's Farm and Greenhouse.